Hi and welcome to this ninth part of uh, 10 videos tutorial for the Camilo LMS platform. My name is Yannick and I'm gonna talk in this version, this volume of the tutorial about the tips that you can use for advanced configuration. So this is something that is very specific uh, to, to many cases that we've seen, um, uh, very specific to many cases. Uh, very specific to large institutions that use the portal. So uh, the first thing is that many people believe that Camilo, because it's not very, uh, it's not as popular as Moodle, for example, cannot manage a uh, very big size of, of portals. So just to give you an example, at the moment we have a, a portal that has 680,000 users registered um, th that is actively used and it's very light and, and, and we have had no issues of, uh, of, of slugginess or anything like that um, recently in the, in the w with the, the, the current versions of, of Camilo that we use. So just to give you an idea, if we, if we go to the configuration settings, you will see that there are a few things that uh, will help you if you have a very big portal. For example, the LDAP connection will allow you to have a centralized LDAP server and connect and synchronize your users between the Camilo portal and the LDAP server. You'll have to do some configuration that is described in this section. Uh, the same goes for CAS, which is a very widely used authentication system. Um, the same goes for Shibboleth, that is also a widely used authentication system. And then you have a Facebook connector, which you have to uh, configure configure a, a lot to, to make work to make it work. Um, I'm I'm gonna deactivate this tour um, option here, so we not we, we don't get distracted by it. There we go. And we'll have to refresh, I guess. There we go. And so basically these options will allow you to connect to other systems. But that's not the only uh, thing that, that you can do through there. You can also, there, there is a, um, an option called custom pages that you can enable here. And when you enable custom pages, you'll be able to change so the, the, the login page is something that, that is very uh, specific to Camilo and, and sometimes people want a different login page. So they will, um, specifically, they will change this, this page and make sure that there's a block in the, in the middle, for example, with just the username and password fields and the login button and, and that the style will be totally different. So in these cases, they can use the they can use the custom pages and they will be able to configure these pages. But these, these imply a, a little bit of development to, um, to make it work. So you'll have to read the documentation that is in the, in the options when you enable the option to, uh, sorry, custom pages. Uh, you'll have to check what, what it allows you to do. Um, then you have, uh, if, if that isn't enough, you have web services. So this is something that's not directly accessible from the, the Camilo interface. But if you go to do your URL and type in the URL, you type main web services, main web services. I'm going to type it below in a moment. Registration, punto soap onto PHP. This is the kind of uh, page that you'll get. So what I did here is basically on my installation, I typed this in the in the URL. So I, I finished my Camilo installation slash main slash web services. You can find it in the in the folders of your PHP application on the server if you if you would like slash web services slash registration dot soap dot php and this will uh, show you well this kind of page which gives you a list of all the web services that are available to you 
um, to create, for example, create users from another system, create courses from another system, create sessions from another system, subscribe users to courses, subscribe users to sessions, unsubscribe them, list the courses, update the API keys, etc. So this is just another option to uh, connect Camilo to another system. Now, if you want to, there are also optimization features that uh, you might want to to to, to configure. There is a, an optimization guide uh, for the system so that you can boost it if you think that uh, that it's a uh, it's a bit slow in several in, in some aspects. Um, you can just use those tips to configure it. Just search for Camilo optimization and you should find the document. And that's it for volume 9 of this uh, 10 chapters tutorial. I'll see you in chapter 10.